The truth is finally here. Hi everyone and welcome back to Top Gun PDR Training. This is Marty Runick and I wanted to show you something a little special today. Um, hammer and dolly work. It's something that not only auto body guys need but every PDR tech should have at least a basic understanding of these tools. So let's get started. All right. All right, fellas, we're going to remove this body line dent and our fender. See, we have a crown right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a hammer and a dolly to do this with. All right. And what I'm not going to do is pick up on that body line as just about everybody would. There's no way that works best, guys, if you want a fast finish. We're going to roll that crown into the body line. So we're not going to pick the body line up. We're going to roll the crown into and past the body line. All that energy is locked up in there into and past the body line. And we're going to do this with our dolly and back. And as I'm putting my dolly right about just underneath that crown, I'm going to roll my dolly as I'm pushing out fairly hard. And at the same time, take that crown metal down with my polished hammer. All right. So let's show you how this works. Right underneath where I want to be. All right. Okay, at this point the reflection I'm using just isn't working. I gotta change it. The camera sees it, but I just can't see it, so I'm gonna put up another board here. Okay, we're gonna resume work on our crown down now that I can see what I'm doing. We got our wheel put back forward so I can leverage off the tire better. All right, we're going to insert our dolly in the back of the panel again. And remember, we're going to push off the dolly. And we're going to strike with a hammer nice and parallel to it, right on the crown, back and forth on it, moving all that metal into the body line. Board up. And I'm putting a lot of pressure with my wrist against the dolly. A lot of force against her. 80, 90% of the force. All this tool is going to do is just barely kiss it. All right, that's all it's going to do. Okay, now you notice as we're hitting, we get a nice solid ping sound. Very high pitch sound. Notice if we hit up here, it's a dull thud. Yeah, well, obviously we're not on the dolly. When you get right on the right spot, you'll hear a sharper ping than you are anywhere else on the dolly. It's called ironing out your panel, guys. Just a little bit on the body line here. Right, toward the end there I rocked the dolly to the very edge of the dolly so that it was in contact with the body line put quite a bit of pressure on it and helped to work out what little bit was left of the body line 
All right, I had to move the camera so I can put my finishing board up. So now we're gonna do is take out any minor little blips with the uh, ball face or hammer. pretty much disappeared as soon as we get those highs out. Remember guys, highs first, then your lows, never ever ever the other way around. And I did lose about a minute and a half worth of footage on the underneath that body line, but uh, sorry, got to turn the camera on again. Okay, do a quick pan through the area. Customer only wanted 95%, we got it looking better than that. I'm sorry we had to rush through this one guys, but uh, I didn't think the customer was going to be in a hurry and I already had my camera and everything set up and I didn't want to waste the time I had into setup. So uh, I still think it turned out to be a pretty good lesson on basic hammer and dowel use. This is our first video on this subject. Alright, let me show you what I've got quickly for hammers and dollies. Had metal and rubber dollies hammers of course and shot bag dollies, dura bag dollies. One of my favorites is this one right here. I designed it many years ago. I can custom make any profile I want to screw it onto that handle and it's got plenty of mass. Works fantastic. I use it uh, quite a bit. Okay fellas, for those of you that are interested in getting good with a hammer and dolly, and if you're an auto body guy, paintless dent repair guy, no matter no matter how you work in sheet metal fellas, hammers and dollies are very useful tools and we have to start somewhere, so we're just going to do a very basic exercise. Uh, if you get into any kind of a sheet metal school, this is one of the very first exercises you'd be taught. We're going to do about a dime size, quarter size dent in the hood, and we're going to put the center of our doll dolly underneath the panel now, and we're going to put the center of it right underneath our dent. We're going to rock it like this or like that. We can actually drag it across the panel if we need to or rock it to where the center of that is right underneath the impact point of our dent. And if you're doing paintless dent repair, of course, you're going to use your reflection to make sure that dolly face is right under the impact point of your dent. We're going to push up on the dolly with Quite a bit of force, about 90% of our force alone is going to be with the dolly only, not with our hammer. So we're not going to be driving things down, we're going to be pushing it up, and we're going to use our hammer just to lightly release the pressure from the perimeter of the dent, and it's going to come up nice and flat. Now when we hit, we're going to hit right on the center of the face of this hammer, with the hammer going straight up and down, so we're not going to do one of these things or one of these things, straight up and down. I'll try to tilt it into the camera a little bit. Straight up and down, fellas. No tilt at all in that hammer. You have to get very, very good with that. Now, eventually, we'll go to this side. Uh, if this video does well, we'll teach you some of the really advanced techniques using either side of the hammer. Um, hammer and dollies, guys, are something you could spend at least a couple of weeks on. Uh, if you're doing the Fairmont method, it'll take you about three to four months to where you really got these mastered well. But they move metal like nothing else and they finish metal super fast. Uh, when you can use them, it's the only way to go. Especially when you're trying to iron out uh, cottage cheese work that you'll see in a lot of cookie repairs that you do. You know, you get the highs and the lows. If you can get a dolly back of there and iron that metal out, your cookie repairs are going so fast it's almost ridiculous. You know, you obviously can't get a dolly back of everything, but when you can, in my opinion, this is the way to go. Okay, we've got about a quarter size dent here. All right, here's what it looks like above and beneath the panel. We're just dragging the dolly through right now. I'm going to show you what that looks like. And we can roll the dolly like we're doing there also. So the object is to get roughly the center of that dolly right underneath the impact point, which we do right now. And we're going to light the hammer on it. And there you go. It doesn't take that long, guys. With a little bit of practice, you'll be able to do this very easily. This is uh, one of the best beginning exercises there is for hammer and dolly work. And like I said, everyone, if there's enough interest in this, we'll do more videos on it. So let me know. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.